Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to Newcom's YouTube channel. Today, we are unboxing and reviewing the J5 Create USB-C Multi-Adapter 10-in-1 or also known as JCD384. So, uh, what we're dealing with here is, uh, well, this USB-C, let's call it mini docking station, uh, offers 10 extra ports. And uh, if you just open it up, you are greeted with a view of the product itself and also a couple of, uh, well not a couple of, all of the features that you will see in this product. So we've got a 60, a 60 watt power delivery and data transfer of up to five gigabits per second. That means our USB 3.1 ports, which there are three of them, are Gen 1. All right, so we've got USB 3.1 Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 2 is 10 gigabits per second. Gen 1 is uh, 5 gigabits per second. Don't ask me why they named it like that. It's confusing to me as well, but that's how they did it, unfortunately. So we've got 60 watts of power delivery. What does that mean? Well, it means that you can actually uh, directly connect your laptop charger to one of the USB-C ports right here. While the, the mini docking station is connected to your laptop, you don't need to connect it to another port on the other side of the laptop, for example. This can uh, handle 60 watts of power pass through, all right? So, uh, also we've got all the other ports, but I'll, uh, I'll go over them as I open the box. So let's do that. The placement of the seal was a little inconvenient, so I would just rather take it off. Let's see what's in here. Okay, nothing else in the box. I'll put the box aside and uh, let me take it out. So we've also got this guide, which we won't be needing. We already know what's going on. I'll tell you all you need to know about it. So this is the product that we're dealing with in this really nice brushed aluminum shell. So let's go over the port without any further ado. So this is the uh, power pass-through port, right? The power in, it's also written. Uh, it's a power in and it's a USB 3.0 port as well. So you can also use it for data transfer. It's not just meant for power delivery. But yeah, if you connect the mini dock to your laptop, you don't need to connect the laptop charger to another port. You can just connect it to here and it will deliver up to 60 watts of power. Now I know there are laptops with 100 watts of power inputs or even 120 watts. For example, the 2020 MacBooks uh, had 100 watts of power uh, for, for charging and the M2 powered MacBooks, they are capable of up to 120 watts of charging. But 60 watts is still plenty. Uh, it's not gonna take like two, three hours. Maybe it'll take an extra couple of hours, but I mean, uh, at least you have one less occupied port, so that's good. Now, in terms of the other ports, uh, right next to the USB-C power input, you've got a gigabit Ethernet port with the light indicators for upload and download, so you know uh, physically, you will know that the hardware is showing you that there's data going in and out. And you've also got three USB type A ports with one that has an extra trick up its sleeve. So they are USB 3.1 Gen 1, but there's a little bit of an inconsistency on the product. It says USB 3.0, but on the box, it says USB 3.1 Gen 1, which is five gigabits of data transfer. And even here, you will see that it says uh, USB data transfer of five gigabits per second. That is USB 3.1 Gen 1. Now, even if it's 3.0 and not 3.1, it's still capable of transferring up to 4.8 gigabits per second. The whole USB standard thing is a mess. Like, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of a quick backstory. First, they had USB 3.0, which was uh, 4.8 to 5 gigabits per second. Then, they came up with USB 3.1, very minor improvement, but they called it the USB 3.1. Then, the USB 3.2, which it would have been USB 3.2, which has uh, 10 gigabits per second of data transfer. Instead of calling it USB 3.2, they said, okay, so let's just call USB 3.0 and 3.1, USB 3.1 Gen 1, which are 
pretty much the same thing. And then USB 3.2 would be now USB 3.1 Gen 2. But some people are still using the 3.0 moniker, while some are using uh, 3.1 Gen 1. It's a whole mess. I can't pretend I understand it, but 3.0, 3.1, they're essentially the same thing, and they offer up to 5 gigabits of data transfer speed. So that's the USB mania out of the way. Uh, but then there is this one orange port that supports BC 1.2 charging. So BC 1.2 charging uh, can deliver, it, it, on the box it says it can deliver up to 2.4 amps. There you go, 2.4 amps. Now the BC 1.2 uh, is anywhere between 7.5 watts up to 12 watts of charging. So if it's uh, 2.4 amps and you uh, and the 5 volts that typically is used as the AC power input, uh, you multiply it by 2.4, you get 12 watts of power. So yeah, it supports up to 12 watts of charging for your smartphones connected to this port, which is quite a bit compared to other like mini docking stations or USB hubs, or really any other laptop ports as well. So that's, I think, a good amount of power pass through for charging your smartphone. It's not like 60 watts or anything, uh, even though very few phones are capable of 60 watts of charging, but I mean, it is still decent. It's gonna take like maybe two, two and a half hours, maybe up to three hours if your phone has a pretty big battery to charge it from zero to 100. But you know, you're not using it to charge your phone from zero to full. You're using it to charge your phone while you're using it as data transfer or really if you have no other outlets uh, to access. So it's a nice addition. And also you've got HDMI. Uh, I assume it is HDMI uh, 1.4, which is capable of uh, 4K up to 30 Hertz, right? Uh, and uh, that means 1080p up to like 144 Hertz or even 165 Hertz. And you also have for maximum compatibility for legacy connectors, you also have a VGA port right here. So the VGA obviously doesn't even go beyond uh, 1080p anyway, so that's all you can get. And also, in this really thin port, you have access to a micro SD card and a full-sized SD card slot for uh, compatibility with like cameras or even uh, the micro SD card in your, in your phone. So yeah, that's all the ports that you get. And of course, uh, the main connector is a USB-C, a really solidly built USB-C that is also encased in metal. So um, that's pretty much all you need to know about uh, the ports of this uh, mini docking station, the JCD384. It's a really portable uh, solution for people who have a couple of accessories that they need to connect to their laptop, which only has a USB-C port at this point. So it's pretty portable and it's got all the ports that you need and then some, and then some, because gigabit ethernet isn't something that everyone will need but you know, it's there for like maximum speed and reliability because I mean, in my opinion, as someone who uses a desktop computer, I think nothing beats a LAN cable. Uh, no amount of Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 7, Wi-Fi 10 is going to replace the good old RJ45 cable in terms of pure reliability. So it's there if you need it. So yeah, uh, it's a really compatible, really small and portable a docking station or let's say mini docking station for everyone who wants to uh, be on the go and still be able to turn their laptop into a workstation essentially. So I will leave it there. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you very soon in the next video.